All right, guys, here's the test review. Uh, this is going to be quite a lengthy uh, review, so I'm probably going to break it up into a number of different uh, videos so you can take a break in between each part. Uh, so let's start off with these first questions here. So these guys are just based off of the Y and Delta configurations. So what we're going to do is we're going to write down our Y and Delta relationships. So for the Y, we know that our V line is equal to our V phase times root 3. And we know that I line is equal to I phase. So as soon as you get your test, you're going to regurgitate this on the front page. And we're also going to put down the rules for the delta. The delta we're going to think of as a parallel circuit where V line is equal to V phase. And the line current is equal to the phase current times root 3. And if those guys aren't working for you, remember that we can always place this in an Ohm's law chart where we've got V line is equal to V phase times root three. And here for the currents, let's put that down here. We've got I line is equal to I phase times root three. Beautiful, okay? Let's take on uh, this first one. This one's a gimme. How many degrees out of phase are the voltages of a three phase system? They're 120 degrees out of phase. So the answer for one is C. If we draw these guys out as vectors, then we've got the A phase, we've got the B phase happening 120 degrees later. Then we've got the C phase happening another 120 degrees. And again, 120 degrees between C and A. So we've got 360 degrees of rotation off of there giving us our three sine waves out, right? If we're looking at the three sine waves on three phase, we've got one sine wave, easy now, one sine wave here, then we got the next guy coming in 120 degrees later, then the next guy following behind it. A, B, and C phase, each 120 degrees at a phase. Excellent, okay? Which of the following statements is true for the Y-connected three-phase system? So we're looking at these rules right here. So we're either looking for the fact that the currents are the same or the line voltage is higher. So let's see. Line current is higher than phase current by a factor of root 3. Well, that's not true. We can see that right there. So we can eliminate A. Uh, phase current is higher than line current. Well, that's never true. We can eliminate that guy. Line current is less than. No. We're looking for something where it says line current and phase current are identical for a Y-connected circuit. So 2 is D, guys. Okay, next one. Which of the following... Now, I'm going through this as if you've already done the work. So um, what we'll do is we'll... You can pause the... Um, the video, if, you, if you're at home and you don't, you're not part of my class, but you want to do this review as well, I'll put a link in the bottom for a PDF on the website. Uh, if you're too lazy to get that, then you can just pause um, at each point. So each page here will be blank. You can pause the video, go through each one, write down your answers, and then uh, check your answers as we go through it. But I'm basically going through this as if you've already done the work because the pace is fast. Which of the following statements is true for the delta connected three phase system? Okay, well, delta is either going to tell us that the voltages are the same or that the line current is greater than the phase current by root three. So let's see. Everything's in terms of currents, right? So we're not looking at the voltage yet. Uh, and you know that if there's four questions here, I'm going to ask you about these four relationships here. So we've already taken care of. The fact that the line current and the phase current are the same for a Y. So you know that that's already eliminated. I'm not going to ask you that question again. So the answer for the next one for the delta is either this guy or this guy. Okay. So let's see. Uh, it's in terms of the line current. So we know that the line current is greater than the phase current by root 3. So let's see. Line current is higher than the phase current by a factor of root 3. Beautiful, that's it right there. So that is A. Okay, obviously that's the answer, but let's just uh, eliminate the other guys. Uh, we know that for the delta, line current and phase current are not the same. 
Uh, we know that the line current is never less than the phase current, so we can eliminate that guy. And here we're saying um, that the phase current is higher than, well, that's essentially saying that the same thing, right? Phase current is higher than line current. Line current is less than the phase current. Those B and C are saying the exact same thing, just in different words. So three is A, guys. Okay, and we're just keeping track of which ones we've taken care of. So we just took care of this rule that the line current is greater than the phase current by root three. Beautiful. So now we're down to uh, two other relationships that the next two questions are on. So next one is on uh, the Y connected system. So now we know that we're looking for this guy. We've already taken care of the, the current relationship. So now we're looking for an answer that says, that the line voltage is greater than the phase voltage by a factor of root three. And let's see, line voltage is higher than the phase voltage by a factor of root three. Okay, so you can see the tricks on the multiple choice, right? You can see that there's only four questions I can ask, four relationships, and as we keep track of them, um, we already found the answer right there. Okay, uh, phase voltage is higher than line voltage. Well, that's never true. We now know, looking at the, the answers now that B and C are the same thing. They're ridiculous. Line voltage is less than the phase voltage. That's not true. So B and C are ridiculous and they're saying the same ridiculous statement in different words. Okay, the other thing is uh, that line voltage and phase voltage are the same. That's only true for the delta. Okay, so we can eliminate that answer. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've circled all answer and now we've effectively eliminated all the others just to make sure. Okay, that means that we've now taken care of this relationship. Last one we're looking for is this guy right here for the delta. For the delta, we're looking for a statement that says that the line voltage and the phase voltage are identical. Okay, well, that is right here. Right, line voltage and phase voltage are the same. Beautiful. We don't have, I mean, we could, we know B and C are useless, right? Line voltage is higher than the phase voltage. Well, that's only for the Y circuit, so we can eliminate that guy as well. Beautiful. All right, guys, let's check out the next page. Okay, so I've got to step up my pace here because I'm looking at the time here. It's already seven minutes gone by for one page of, uh, of questions. But a lot of yammering from my end on that first page. So let's take a look at number six. The windings of a three-phase alternator... Okay, so if you want, call it a generator. So there's a source. There's a source that is three phase and it's connected up in a delta. The alternator or generator, as you wish, is producing a line to line voltage of 480 volts. So we know that it's a delta. We're given the fact that it's 480 volts as a line voltage. And we know that for the delta, the line and the phase voltage are identical. So we could do a quick little diagram like this. We know that the voltage from here to here on the outside is 480 volts on the line. But if we follow that back to the phase, then we can see that the voltage across the phase is identical. Okay, Or we've just memorized the fact that line voltage is the same as the phase voltage in a delta. So we're looking for 4D as our answer. A is our answer for number six. Okay, next one, a three-phase delta-connected alternator. Oh, from question number six. So this is referring to the, the previous question. It's connected to a load that draws a current of 25.98 amps on the line. How much current is flowing on the phase windings of the alternator? So how much current is actually flowing here in this winding? or this winding, or this winding, because each of these guys is balanced on the lines. Okay, so it's saying find the phase current for the alternator if the line current is 25.98. Okay, so we know that for a delta, that our I line is equal to I phase times root three. We've been given the line current. So now we just need to find the phase current. We can see here with this relationship, if we cover up this value right here, our phase current is equal to our line current divided by root three. So we can reconfigure this guy to give us phase current is equal to line current divided by root three. 
which for us is equal to 25.98 amps on the line, divided by root 3. Okay, I can't do that in my head, so let's see, 25 point, oops, 25.98 divided by the square root of 3 gives me 14.99, or basically 15 amps on the phase. So we know that our phase current is equal to 15 amps. Beautiful. So this value right here is 15 amps, and we're looking for that as an answer. So our answer for 7 is going to be C. Excellent. Remember that the current on the inside of a delta is always lower than the current on the outside. So in that case, we could eliminate a number of different uh, values, right? Here, we could eliminate 25.98 because we know that the line current and the phase current are not the same on a delta. We can also eliminate, um, we can eliminate all these guys, right? We can eliminate 45 amps. There's no way that the phase current is gonna be 45 amps when the line current is 26 amps, right? 25.98. Um, so, and then, well, then it's essentially 15 amps or 17.32. We're not sure what the value is, right? So, but at least we could get it down to a 50-50 chance there uh, between C and D. All right, guys, number eight. Um, <clears throat> a three-phase Y-connected load is connected to a 480-volt three-phase source voltage. Uh, so our line voltage is 480 volts. The line current of the load is 36 amps. So that value right there is our line current. If this load is purely resistive, what's the total amount of power being used in this circuit? So we have two ways to find that answer. Uh, quickest way to find that answer would be that um, the total power for this three-phase load would be our 480 volts on the line times our 36 amps on the line. And because we're using line values, we're going to multiply that by root 3. So let's see, we've got 480 times 36 times the square root of 3, and that gives us 29,929. Beautiful. Oh, nice. There's that answer right there. So 8 is going to be B. Okay. If you wanted to, the next, the other equation that you could use would be the phase values, but then you're taking too much time to do this one question, right? You can see that this is the, the easiest way. Use your line values. We'll use the, the phase values just to double check, but this would be a waste of time. So our, li our line voltage is 480. That means that our phase voltage would be 277. Our line current and phase current would be identical at 30 amp, 36 amps, sorry. And we're going to multiply that by three phase. See if that gives us a value close to 29,929. So we got 277 times 36 times 3. That gives us 29,916. Okay. The reason why we're off there uh, is because of the rounding on the, the 277 there. Um, but again, that value is very, very close to this value. So if you had used this equation right here and that was your answer, uh, call me over just to make sure that you're cool and circling this answer right here. But you could double check on your own, right? Knowing that I've probably used the line values 480 times 36 times root 3 gives us 29,929 watts. So you can see that you need to start rocking your way through this test. Um, I've done a lot of talking, but we're at uh, 14 minutes and 20 seconds now for eight questions. Um, so I've left three minutes for each question here. Um, so we need to step up the pace uh, in order to answer the remaining questions. So I'm going to stop there so that the video is only about 15 minutes. Uh, check the next video. We'll continue on on question nine, guys.